Okay, I need to talk to you guys about something that just happened to me in the last five minutes. I returned home from a trip to the Phoenix International Airport. Um, got off the SkyTrain. The SkyTrain takes you from the terminals to terminals to the parking lot. Got off the SkyTrain. Actually, hold on. So strange. I'm with a friend named Kelly. And she actually says, what did you learn at WAFT um, in Florida a few weeks ago? I told her all about the things that I learned. But most importantly, she said, what's the one takeaway? And I said, pay attention to your surroundings. I said this to her in the airport. Pay attention to your surroundings. Stay off your phone. And then I followed my own instructions. And I got off the SkyTrain. And I looked around me. It's the first thing I did. And there was a man on the platform. No luggage. Bright yellow shirt. Talking to different people. What's he doing? Where is he flying with no luggage? Um... He's not in the terminal, he's in the parking lot. So he's either coming from a trip or he's going on a trip. In that case, why are you just hanging out on the platform? He's not getting on the train and he didn't get off the train. And he looks at me a certain way and I friendly smile and I get this sinking feeling. And I keep watching him and I'm on the escalator and behind me is a couple. And I continue to look at the top of the escalator because in my mind, I know this man is going to follow me. I just knew it. I just knew it. He's going to follow me. And I kept looking at the top of the escalator. And this couple kept looking at me weird because I kept looking at the top of the escalator. And I was almost to the bottom of the escalator when this guy in the yellow shirt got on. He got on. And at the very bottom of the escalator, Holy Spirit took over. And my spidey female senses started tingling. And I looked at this couple and my voice is shaking and I say, which way are you guys walking? And they were like, this way. And it was the opposite of my car. And I said, um, can, I, can I walk with you? And they were like, yes. And I started to walk with them. And then I said, can you just, can you just talk to me like you're my friends? Can you just, can we just stop here and can you talk, can you talk to me? And they were like, yes. And yellow shirt came all the way down the escalator. And when he stopped and saw me with those people, he went right back up the escalator, right back up to the SkyTrain without his luggage. And I don't know what he was up to in general in life, but I do know this, he was following me. He got on the escalator at the last possible second so that I wouldn't see him following me. He followed me to the bottom and when he saw me with other people, he went back up. He was going to follow me alone to my vehicle in the biggest parking lot I've ever been in, which is the Phoenix International Airport. I was going to be by myself for hundreds and hundreds of yards with no weapon by myself. And he knew it. And if I hadn't watched him be suspicious, if I hadn't been paying attention, I wouldn't have known. I, I don't even want to think about what could have just happened if these people hadn't said, yes, we'll just stop and talk to you. That's how scared I must have looked because I knew this man was going to follow me and I don't know what he was going to do to me. But all I know is that I prevented it by paying attention. So when you are walking alone, women, especially with your children, get off your phone. I don't care if you're on your phone the rest of the day. But when you're walking by yourself, pay attention to who's around you because this man had ill intentions for me and God just saved my life.